What's going on, guys? No, it's been a minute since I've done a video, but uh, just been busy. I've been sick the last few days. It's been Easter. Went up to visit my nephew, so you know how that goes. A lot of family stuff I got to do, but uh, I still been picking up kicks and got a few deals here for you. Just gonna hop right into it. Got four shoe pickups, and I got a Carmeloop package on the way, so you'll be seeing a video on that soon. And then also. Uh, within the next day or so, I'll be picking a winner for the giveaway. I've already reached 150 subs, so that's closed now. Um, thank you guys for all the support, everyone that entered it and whatnot. So uh, I'll pick a winner in not too long. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so this first pickup, I doubled up on a pair of Bread 11s. Um, these are a size 10, which are pretty snug on me. Um, wish I would have gotten either a 10 and a half or an 11, but you know, whatever. A um, little tight, but just clip the finger, clip, clip the toenails, and we'll call it good. Um, got these on the restock. I've already worn them once, and it was a sunny day, so there's pretty much no wear on them. Little creasing on the back, but I mean, that's expected. These are my all-time favorite Jordan. This is what made me want to get into Jordans was the Bread 11s, and uh, I'm so glad that they re-retroed them because I was able to get my second pair right here. And so this is the pair that I'll be wearing, and then I have another pair to stock. So there's the quick Bread 11s. You guys all know what those look like. Don't really need to go into too much detail. Um, third spacing, so you guys know they're not fake or whatever. I mean, like fake Jordans don't come in a box like this, you know what I'm saying? So the retail tag. But um, yeah, so second pair of breads, and uh, show you the next pair. So this next pair here is my first pair of Kobe 8s. Um, I was able to get these after release date. Uh, I wasn't really too stoked on them, but I uh, found them locally for under retail because they were from the ES. So one of my homies hooked me up, gave them to me for 120 And these are the Red Camo Year of the Snakes. Uh, I really love this colorway. Like, this is just, these things are sick. I've already worn them because they're just, they're, they're too dope. Like, that insole with those ridges in there just feels amazing. Like, it's comf comfy shoe and super lightweight. Um, this color is super vibrant also. Like, I didn't see that in the pictures or, like, in the reviews. Like, even the camera's not doing it justice. But this crimson is just popping, like, on the inner lining also. All 3M swoosh back there. Dope pickup. The, the metal lace holes right there. Um, love these. My first uh, pair of Kobe's and probably the... the the sickest colorway in my opinion that have come out this year so this next pair I got a straight steal on women's air maxes check that out eight and a half oh my god I love now nah, I'm just playing um, I actually picked these up super cheap uh, locally on a, a Facebook group here in Portland everyone looks out for each other and got these for 50 bucks met up with a guy uh, I've done a few deals with him already he's always got dope shoes these are size 11 so they're a little big, but they still fit. Um, these are the Piston 6s with all patent leather, all round. I love black shoes, so these were like a must for me. And he's already, you know, like, these are in pristine condition for 50 bucks. Like, that's a steal. Like, not too bad yellowing. Like, on the camera, you can't really tell, but that's a little, little yellow. Not too bad, like, wear-wise. The bottoms are still clean. Um, Jordans are kind of intact. But I mean, for 50 bucks, I can't complain. Still got the lace ho lace holders, uh, or lace locks. My bad. Um, just a slight slight creasing on the patent leather, which is like pretty nice compared to other pairs that I have. Uh, patent leather seems to crease a lot easier than regular like nubuck or leather or anything like that, and it's really noticeable. But these are pretty pretty crispy, and um, I love the sixes also. Just figured, why not? And for that price, like, you can't even beat it. The speckled on the back, the blue, the red, and, like, paint is still on par. No chipping, no nothing. That air unit, little yellow, so, I mean, but what can you do, right? And, yeah, stoked on those. Came in a replacement box, which is probably why they were so cheap. And uh, my boy Jonas just hooked it up, so... All right, we'll go to the last pair, which is another steal. So this last pair is a pair of uh, KD4s. Got Team Orange, Photo Blue, and White. 
Um, retail was 95 on these. I wish they were still that much, but whatever. These are the creamsicles. Um, got these for $40. And they were pretty worn when I got them, but I cleaned them up. Like, the strap was all, like, pretty pretty burnt out. And then the midsole was all dirty. Like, the kid didn't really take care of his shoes. So I had to take care of them for him. Um, put new insoles in. Just because, like, I think it's weird wearing a shoe that someone else has been sweated in, like, sweating in and whatnot. So I use a... I use this stuff right here, the shoe deodorizer, and I just like douse, douse the inside of it. And I don't really know what else to do. Like, if you guys got any other suggestions, leave a comment because I don't really know how to totally like clean the insoles. Like, of course, I deodorized it, but who knows, like, what could still be in there. So, yeah, these are the KD4s. I like these a lot more than the, the current year, the KD5s, just because the low tops and that strap is just on par. And so, um, not crazy about the colorway, but still trying to build my KD4 collection up. I don't really know what I'm going to wear with these. Like, these are pretty loud, and I'm not really, I don't really like l super loud shoes. Uh, I'm more of like just black and red and that color, but uh, yeah, I honestly have no idea what I'll rock with these. But for 40 bucks, I figured it was a steal because KD4s are like skyrocketing now that they're not in stock anymore and they're harder to find and so I'll just give you guys a quick 360 view yeah like right here still a little dirty I need to take the magic eraser to that but uh, probably get some new laces in them too maybe white perhaps let me know what you guys think so yeah these are ten and a half my size they fit like a charm super dope big chuck on the back yeah so yeah, these are the last pickup I got in the last uh, week or so. Um, the KD4s and dope. Not bad. So let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment. Um, subscribe, like, you know, do all that stuff. I don't really know what to say at the end of the videos. So I'm just going to ramble and peace out, guys.